you have a strong labor market, you've got very low unemployment. U.S. unemployment may be at a 50-year low, but in many places around the country, including Minneapolis, where the jobless rate is a stunning 2.3 percent, some people are still being left behind, especially in the nation's minority communities. Economics reporter Howard Schneider has the story. Job and labor advocates in, in North Minneapolis, for example, they'll say that in some neighborhoods, uh, the unemployment rates for, for black men, uh, adults uh, over 25, sort of prime working age might be 40, 50 percent or more communities that really have not participated uh, fully in this decade-long expansion. And the U.S. Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, led by Jerome Powell, is taking notice. The data that we're seeing are... Earlier this year, the Fed kicked off a nationwide listening tour from Minneapolis to Dallas, from food pantries to a housing project for the homeless, looking at the impact of its economic policies on the ground, getting feedback from educators, small business owners, and others and assessing whether a new strategy could bring jobs and higher wages to the groups who have missed out on the recovery. But what it's transformed into is a much bigger sort of uh, discussion about how the economy works, and in particular, whether the Fed might be able to see room for unemployment to fall even lower and really the, the gains of the recovery to extend more broadly into, into more communities that have so far been left behind. To do that, the Fed would have to rethink long-standing rules about raising interest rates in a strong economy to keep a grip on inflation, even if those rate hikes cut off additional job growth. Recent data has called into question the fear that lower unemployment necessarily leads to higher inflation. Inflation's close to target. Unemployment's under 3 percent. It's a great time for us to be patient. The details of a new way forward are still up for debate, but the discussions now underway could bring an historic shift in the Fed's thinking about the labor market, one that could mean another chance for those left behind in the great recovery.